touch me, touch me, touch me. I like the way she fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. drop, hit it, hit it, hit it. Hit it. Hit it. What's good with the YouTube? It's your boy CJ. And this your girl Arena. Make sure y'all subscribe CJ Arena. Alright, today we got a reaction video on George Carlin. Man stuff. Y'all ready? I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Let's get it. Now, something a little more positive for you. Don't want you to think the whole show is just negativity. This is about a festival. This is my idea for one of those big outdoor summer festivals. <laughs> this is called Slugfest. <laughs> this is for men only. Here's what you do. You get about a hundred thousand of these fucking men. You know the ones I mean, these macho motherfuckers. Yeah, these strutting, preening, posturing, hairy, sweaty, alpha male jack-offs. The muscle assholes. You take about a hundred thousand of these disgusting pricks. And you throw them in a big dirt arena, big 25 acre dirt arena. And you just let them beat the shit out of each other. <laughs> For 24 hours non-stop, no food, no water, just whiskey and PCP. <laughs> and you just let them punch and pound and kick the shit out of each other until only one guy is left standing. Then you take that guy and you put him on a pedestal and you shoot him in the fucking head. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Then you put the whole thing on TV. Budweiser would jump at that shit in half a minute. And guys would volunteer, guys would line up. All you gotta do is promise them a small appliance of some kind. Men will do anything. Just give them something that plugs in the wall, makes a whirring noise. Here's another male cliche. These guys who cut the sleeves off of their t-shirts so the rest of us can have an even more compelling experience of smelling their armpits. I say, hey Bruno, shut it down, would you please? You smell like an anchovy's cunt, okay? Whoa. 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 Not good, Bruno, and definitely not for sharing. Right. This is the same kind of guy that has that barbed wire tattoo that goes all the way around the bicep. You've seen that, haven't you? That's just what I need. Some guy who hasn't been laid since the bicentennial wants me to think he's a bad motherfucker <laughs> because he's got a picture, a ha ha, a painting of some barbed wire on his eyes. Hey, Junior, come around when you have the real thing on there. I'll squeeze that shit on good and tight for you, okay? <laughs> no kidding. No kidding. This is the same kind of guy if you, if you smashed him in the face eight or nine times with a big chunk of concrete and then beat him over the head with a steel rod for an hour and a half, you know what? He dropped like a fucking rock. Right. <laughs> like a rock. Here's another guy thing that sucks. These t-shirts that say, lead follower, get out of the way. <laughs> you ever see that? This is more of that stupid Marine Corps bullshit. <laughs> Obsolete male impulses from a hundred thousand years ago. Lead follower, get out of the way. You know what I do when I see that shirt? I obstruct. <laughs> I stand right in the guy's path, force him to walk around, he gets a little past me, I spin him around, kick him in the nuts, rip off the shirt, wipe it on my ass, and shove it down his fucking throat. That's what I do when I see that shirt. Yeah. Hey, listen, that's all these Marines are looking for, a good time. And speaking of tough guys, I'm getting a little tired of hearing that after six policemen get arrested for shoving a floor lamp up some black guy's ass and ripping his intestines out, the police department announces they're going to have sensitivity training. <laughs> I say, hey, if you need special training to be told not to jam a large cumbersome object up someone else's asshole, maybe you're too fucked up to be on the police force in the first place. Hey. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. Listen. That's right. So true. You know what they ought to do? They ought to have two new requirements for being on the police. Intelligence and decency. You never can tell. It might just work. It certainly hasn't been tried yet. No one should ever have any object placed inside their asshole that is larger than a fist and less loving than a dildo. Okay? <laughs> My boy, Why speaking on the truth. Why something in your butt? I don't know. He's speaking on the truth. But, I mean, George Carlin, man, you always have those good acknowledgement words. Like, it's just, you, you, you're speaking the truth like it is. Like, 
if they do help, like, well, if they do make cops that way, we will might be so much better. Well, people might just wouldn't die for stupid stuff. True. Like, just moving too fast. I mean, you usually you move too fast, you get shot. Right. Like, it's stupid stuff. You can be, uh, say, they be having little kids die. They be having everybody die. It's just, oh, my God. True. Y'all make sure y'all give y'all comments at the bottom. And also, check out this video yourself. It's going to be in the description below. And also... Subscribe to CJ Arena. Like always, guys. Peace. Bye. I like the way she touch me, touch me, touch me, touch me. I like the way she fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. Hit it, hit it, hit it, drop. Hit it, hit it, hit it.